Good morning, everybody. We've got a couple minutes, and I can go to lunch. So let me get this done real quick. I won't drag it on very long. Now, I started the video, and I realized I just forgot something. Be right back. Okay. Well, anyway, this is a couple things real quick. This is a... Uh, I don't very often get a sheath involved <laughs> involved in my knives. Usually, I make the knife and then do the video, and, and then that's that get the picture to the customer and so forth but anyway this is a knife it's about ready to go out that I um, but two years ago I made one real similar to this it's on my website and I named it the Ranger and only after I did that um, did I discover that about every other knife maker out there has a knife that's called the Ranger anyway and they're all different so be careful of the Ranger you get um, this is a Coco Bolo Ranger W2 Hamon wrought iron guard, and um, this gentleman um, who just uh, sent me payment yesterday, as a matter of fact, had a note in there. This is his eighth knife from me, and he's a real avid um, hiker, camper um, in Carolinas, and he wanted one for his pack. Goes, it's going to slide down in his backpack so this does not have a belt loop on it because it's a little big for belt loop anyway um, but here is here's the knife and this is a this detaches completely it's a nice friction I'm giving it a pretty good tug and it doesn't come out but this is a uh, little affair that wraps around and snaps upon itself and secures the knife anyway we will get this out of here off to the side and this is this is the Ranger um, W2 pretty active hamon on it a little differential hardening um, I don't know, are we gonna be able to get a little bit of the character on the where are you at there's some focus little character you can see on the on the wrought iron guard this is a 1903 wrought iron guard I know the origin of the knife and or of the wrought iron so I know it was made in 1903 this is a uh, beautiful coco bolo I just got in Atlanta at the blade show at the blade show this year and um, I make a lot of different variations of the takedown but like I said this guy is an avid camper so I wanted to make sure that we had the the finial in here is just a simple affair with an Allen wrench. No fancy little screws or covers or pins, nothing like that in the finial. Just good, good solid Allen wrench takedown. And because he's uh, going to be putting this thing to use, I did, I did four pins. I did four pins on this one. Of course, they're all free floating, and you want them free floating because. You wouldn't want these um, epoxied or super glued in place because if one of them got bent, you'd have a, you wouldn't be able to get your knife together. So anyway, there's that, and this is the this is our wrought iron guard. Sometimes the camera is a little slow, but anyway, there's our wrought iron guard. Dirty fingers. I guess I better wash my hands before lunch. Um, I'm just going to put all all four of these pins in the knife. Or in the handle, I mean. There we go. A little oil. Oops. Nice and tight. Good and tight. Oh, and while I think about it, I'll, I'll do that on this. I'll do that on this video. Um, oops. I'll be right back. With all of my knives, as they go out, every knife gets 
certificate of authenticity. It says from Anderson Forge. Um, photo of the knife, the name of the knife, and then the certificate. I've been doing this for a long, long time. There's a picture of the knife, name of the knife, um, the day it was day it was completed, what the blade material is, the handle material, any accessory material, and then my signature, Carl B. Anderson with Journeyman Smith and the American Bladesmith Society and a member of the Custom Knife Collectors Association. So this goes out with every knife as well. Um, and I wanted to say I haven't been I haven't been posting many videos lately because quite honestly I don't have the time. I've got a I've got an order list that is just extraordinary at this point, and um, um, I'm just very very behind. Sorry about that. So anyway. Here's our Coca Bowl Ranger, and um, I my my knife order list now. Anybody interested in Anderson Forge stuff is is can't even be counted in months. It's more like years at this point. So anyway, have a good one, and see you down the road.